take great pride in the fact that we're making it possible for people to get outdoors. People of all ages, people of all abilities. Meet Debbie Timmons of Access Recreation. The organization is making sure folks of all abilities have a chance to get out there. We don't use the word accessible, except maybe when it comes to a bathroom or a parking space. What we prefer to do is say usable. On their website, accesstrails.org, there are reviews of 36 regional trails and parks. Tualatin Hills Nature Park is one. I like the boardwalks that go across the wetlands. That's always fun. The reviews include how to get there and what to expect when you arrive. Things like trail characteristics, amenities, and accessible parking spaces. So we have the hard surface and then we have the natural surface trail. The information is meant to help you decide if it's a manageable outing for you. Debbie likes this park in particular because of how you can get here. The MAX train stops right here and you get off the MAX here at 158th and Merlot and then you come right here to the start of the trailhead. We have 222 acres of natural habitat. Kristen Smith is the interpretive program supervisor on site. We have one and a half miles of paved trails, and then we have three and a half miles of soft surface trails. Whether you come to admire the plants or watch the wildlife with a wheelchair or stroller, Access Recreation aims to help you find your happy place no matter your ability. Once in a while, we'll get a grant from an agency such as Metro, but for the most part, it's all volunteer on our part. Access Recreation feels it's important to give people an opportunity to get outdoors, to get some fresh air, kind of get their mind off of other things, just have a chance to get out and have fun. In Beaverton, I'm John Goodwin. Let's get out there. It's a great program. It and is. seeing the blue skies and getting out there is getting me uh, really excited for the official motivated. start to spring.